are gonna win. Ooh. Do you guys do anything fun with stages? Uh, no. <laughs> I know what stage I, you didn't go to. I just play Dreamland variants. Yeah. That's what, that's what I'll pick. No one played uh, Deku Tree. I, you know, Deku Tree is cool, but... Steve is landing. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. How can you pick anything else? <laughs> Sometimes if I go on like net play and play with someone, they'll take me to fray stage. You see that shine? Shine Wario Hotem is neutral view? Yeah. Never done that before. <laughs> I was really surprised that that worked. You can't take fray to fray stage. People take me to fray stages. Like, aha, I'm so funny. I put fray on his own stage. <laughs> There you go. So I I think something to look out for here is uh, I'm learning a lot about the interactions with Wario at the ledge when you put your shield up to bounce his neutral B off. And there's just like a lot of really rich, like deep gameplay around that. Especially now that me and Caleb have played this matchup enough to where we're both aware of it. There's a lot going on where, uh, like, I'll just be shielding near the ledge, and it's like that constant threat of like, oh, I'm gonna bounce you off if you neutral me, but then I just down air, because you can jump out of shield. So there's like a lot of mix-ups you can do. And I think that's like a, that's a really big part of uh, edge guarding Wario with some characters, is just being able to use that shield to pressure his neutral me. Yeah, and it's just something that people are gonna figure out the more they play. Like, holding shield? at ledge against Wario is like a really good option. Yeah, and it, it's it's counterintuitive because there's no other matchup where you edge card like that. Yeah. But I really, I'm really happy with how that interaction came out because it, it's so interesting to me to to have that like, uh, I guess like totally unique. Link and DK? It, it works? Yeah, yeah I guess. But yeah, for the most part it's just not something you're used to doing. The way you're like physically bouncing wow, him that, away from the stage. This, that was a weird it angle. It got under the down tilt. Just a raw forward smash Dude, I there. love Falco S smash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Graham. Like, Link and DK, I could see it working really well. Not yeah, that, yeah, you can. Not that many people do it, though. But it's a good option. I mean, Sanus, like, it's it's not that like interactions aren't considered, it's just you just you just play a lot. Yeah, it's I mean I didn't think about that specific thing. It's more something that just came out organically. Yeah. And I prefer that to happen. I don't like to over design and try to like make everything work the way I think it should. I just try to make, like, I look at an attack on an individual level and I think, like, this should feel like a Smash 64 attack. What does that mean? Yeah. And I just make that attack and then I let it come together, uh, like, organically as much as possible. Yeah, there's not really, like, a formula for, or, like, a flowchart necessarily. So Caleb goes Fox here. Yeah. Takes me to stadium. Yeah, he must have saw my set with Jaime. <laughs> Decided he wanted to play some melee. <laughs> And now he's thinking maybe he didn't want to play some melee. Falco has <laughs> that was got a, a brutal good punish game on Fox. That was he a brutal get a lot. Stock. I kind of prefer Falco's new Ford Smash, but it's still different in this game, so it's like, it's cool, but it's so weird to say that. It's so good. I got yeah, a little bit good. chicken there. I used to spam that a lot when I was a kid. That was a yeah, that was a really good short to save yourself. I was gonna go for like a mid shorten uh, to try to end the combo and still drift back. I cannot stage. get the timing right for those. Not easy. I wonder if I could have shined them there as they fell down. That probably wasn't the best option. We need like a frame by frame video on when to when to hit B for the different distances. And there's actually like a fifth mechanic with the shorten outside of the normal distances. If you do like a late shorten input, then that'll automatically buffer a shorten if you hit the opponent on any length huh. due to the hit lag. All right, so let's... You, can put, you can put a shorten like a little bit later than you would normally. I'm so mad that Donner did that. <laughs> like just like a, a few frames after the shorten window ends, and then if you hit someone, the hit oh. lag will start. <laughs> 
<laughs> just just throwing away stocks. Just, just really listen want. to the sound of my voice and don't pay attention to what's going on on screen. I'm talking about short on hit. It's a really cool mechanic, <laughs> right? It's really it's a it's a big part of Falcon <laughs> Punk game, and I think people should know about it. So you're gonna I fucking you're, suck. So you're gonna lose this. Oh, I was like, <laughs> you're just gonna drop this game so you get to try it, try cool stuff for another whole. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Wait, anyway, Caleb uh, picks Fox again. This time he did the stadium though. Fox is you're perfectly matching your expression right now. <laughs> that was really funny. Took me to Dreamland. Yeah, Ooh. look at that. I like this stage. He's trying to make you jealous of his lasers. I was really, I was, he was doing a good job of doing like safe against Falco lasers uh, at the start of this game. I was looking for that opening to get in with a Phantasm, but he was doing these like high lasers and landing on the platforms, uh, which is, it does a really good job of navigating around Falco's ability to punish the laser while still covering some space. <laughs> Trying to get a little bit cool there again. I really wanted that one. I don't know how I did it in there. But then uh, down the smash cleans it up. Oh, it was. <laughs> Which one and is this? Just drop the edge guard. Oh, that's not that. No. That's not that fun. So this stock could have been over a while ago. That's the only one I know. <laughs> Shield's getting pretty small. <laughs> yeah, there's that that angle down you were talking about. And yeah, his like yeah. entire head sticks out. That that downer didn't poke though. It yeah, looked, actually. It looked like it was going to. I was thinking the same thing. I got away with it that time. Oh, I meant to turn around for that up smash, I think. He's just like walling me out with backers right now. But then he randomly forward smashed, so I got. I don't know what his game plan was exactly right there. <laughs> He's just kind of doing some grounded shines. And uh, th that's that's a taunt. <laughs> Interesting neutral mix-up. <sighs> Another drop combo. <laughs> Doing a really good job of almost getting the combo. How about that shortening? Dropping it last two. <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one, that one kind of. So there you have it. There, there, there we have it. Introduced. I just can't stop thinking about giving Ganon Kurito Dragon. <laughs> I thought about it though, if, if Ganon had the choke slam, he would have, like, it's crazy. He has two <laughs> command grabs. Yeah. It's just, like, weird to think about in the Smash game. Yeah, everyone's burning their points now that the tournament's over. Yeah, everyone's well, getting Kurito Bert. Dragon then. Just melee version. Just so much, so much petting Bert. Hold on, let's see. I think uh, I think I set it up for this scene also. You can still pet Bert. Except it's bigger. Oh, <laughs> uh, someone pet him. I don't have enough points. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> a good yeah. boy. Oh. <laughs> He's in the perfect position for it right now. I know. I think earlier he was kind of like sprawled out and Josh did it and he just like got Bert's like crotch. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. Yeah. If you're not careful. Like you Josh, time your... fondling my dog. You gotta time your pets. <laughs> it's it's kind of perfect uh, that you know, I stream usually at night and so he like Livy is asleep and so he just hangs out down here with me the whole time. So he's basically always here. When I'm streaming. 
you gotta get like uh like 